Hey guys, today I've got a video showing you my pressure washer cart setup. And what I want you to get out of this, or the point of this video is to just give you all some ideas of how to make a budget friendly uh, detailing cart without having to spend several hundred dollars. So you're probably wondering, first off, how much did I spend on this? Uh, for the cart itself, I got it on sale for $90. Currently it's retailing for 130. As always, I'll stick a link in the description of the video so you can purchase it yourself. Um, even at $130, I definitely think the cart is well, well worth the money. Uh, you've got four swivel casters that, like I said, all four swivel, so it makes it extremely maneuverable. Um, and then two on the front or whichever place you put them have uh, wheel locks, so that's really nice. But all in all, with the attachments and accessories that I'm about to go into detail about, I spent just under $200. I believe it was like $175, uh, which I think is very reasonable um, for a, a pressure washer cart or just a detailing cart uh, of this nature. Now, next I wanted to talk about uh, a little, little upgrade, I guess an aftermarket part you could uh, say that I added to my cart and that is these plastic carpet liners or rubber, not plastic, the rubber carpet liners. And I don't have it in here right now, I took it out, but you just put the, the liner in here and you'll have to cut it to spec, but it keeps everything from rolling around and you know reduces friction. So super helpful to have one of these. You can pick them up at Home Depot, Lowe's, Home Goods Store, whatever. Like I said, it's just a rubber carpet liner and it just helps to hold everything in place. Because if you look at the inside of the cart, it's just smooth plastic and you know everything just rolls around super easily. It's like, you know, it's like ice basically right there. So now I want to talk about what I did to hang my pressure washer hose in a budget friendly manner. So like I said, there are a lot of pressure washer reels out there. Um, a lot of them are expensive, like hundreds and hundreds of dollars, like $500 and up. Uh, you can find some that are like $50, but they're really bulky and they take up a ton of space. So I got a little creative and someone recommended getting one of these S clips because you just unhook it right here and you hang it off the little handle part. And then this is just an extension cord uh, reel hose. And the pressure washer hose that I use, which is the Uberflex, it's thin enough that it fits on it. So this little S-clip was like $12 at Home Depot. And then these extension cord reels are like three bucks. So all in all to, to hang my hose, it's like what, like $16. Now it's not as convenient as a pressure washer reel where you can just sit there and crank it and roll it up. But if you're trying to save money and you're not trying to break the bank, this is a pretty sweet way to go. Um, when I go to get my hose off of it, I will just unhook the, the reel from here and then just walk it back and unra uh, unravel it. Pretty simple process, um, works great. Uh, but yeah, that's how I hung my, my hose. And then I just keep it plugged into my pressure washer. So really a uh, budget friendly way to hang your hose off your cart. And now to what I did with the pressure washer. So. You can see I just have a simple, small, little 1800 Ruby 1.2 GPM pressure washer. Now, how I put this up in the cart. So if you look in here, get this crap out of the way, it's actually pretty deep. So what I did was I got some wood planks and I just put them in the cart and I raised it up so that when I go to attach my hoses, the hoses aren't, you know, going down here. Well, you wouldn't be able to plug it in if the pressure washer was sitting down here. So for example, if you look at the other side, this is where the garden hose hooks up. And originally before I raised it, uh, I was not able to hook up my garden hose. So for my unit specifically that sits right here, I just put some wooden planks again, cut them to spec, uh, stacked like three on top of each other. And yeah, just did that to raise the machine up. You can see them again right here, just three wood planks. Also got the carpet liners down here, keep everything from rolling around. If you guys are wondering what these are, these go underneath the tire so that when you're walking circles around your car, the, the pressure washer hose or normal hose just rolls along these things. Uh, I find them super helpful. They take literally like 30 seconds to place under your tires and they are a huge help. On to the next thing that I did with my cart was I put a towel bucket. So... When I'm working outside, because you know I don't have a fancy indoor detailing spot, I bought this just plastic Tupperware container. Oh no, my towel just got on the ground. Contamination. Um, yeah, I just got this plastic bucket and I stick my 
towels in it. I'll stick my wash mitts in here that are obviously clean and uh, just put the lid on it. And I don't have to worry about, you know, my towels getting covered in dirt or stuff flying around in the air. So keep them nice and safe, dust free, free from particles. And yeah. And lastly, to end this video, I'm just going to talk about some of the random stuff that's on top of my pressure washer cart. Uh, if you're still interested and if you're still hanging around. So on this side, I have all of my liquids. Uh, I've got my Grio ceramic wax, Grio's speed shine. I love Grio's products. Uh, I got my polish that and McGuire's as well. And then if you haven't used this ammo uh, interior lather spray, absolutely incredible stuff. It's really bougie and really expensive, but worth every penny. Uh, I got my duster right here. Got my boar's head brushes for interior stuff. Toothbrush, because you never know when you might need one of those. Uh, I've got a really nice, bright detailing light. Helps me find swirls and stuff. Um, and I know you're eyeballing it right there. There it is, the MJJC Foam Cannon Pro. Uh, and like I said, if you're still watching this video, um, I bought this and, you know, I just, I, you know, ate the $90, which is how much this was. And I'm going to tell you, it was worth every penny, um, every video you watch, all the hype, uh, this MJG, so MJJC foam can, it's a mouthful. It's definitely worth every penny and lives up to the hype 100%. Um, so let's see what other crap I've got in here. I've got a spug sponge that, you know, get the hard to get off stuff. Um, this little guy right here, it's basically a handheld leaf blower. And if you've got, um, what do you call it, wax, ceramic wax on your car, Water just beads up, uh, rolls right off. Same for your windshield. Makes the drying process pretty easy. Uh, I wouldn't recommend drying your car, entire car with this. It takes, you know, four times as long as compared to using a towel. Um, but if you want to do a completely touchless wash and completely touchless drying process, you definitely can do that with this big boy buddy right here. I'm going to make a video on him later. Um, but then I got my pressure washer wand up here headphones because this thing is crazy loud but uh but yeah it's pretty much it uh you can i stick more stuff on here like if i'm doing polishing or compounding i'll stick the the buffer up there but but yeah very versatile cart and uh all in all i i like my setup it's pretty sweet so but yeah with that we'll end the video and we'll see you guys next time bye bye